Hi everyone, it's Judy Lee, and I started dyeing my, uh, if you watched my haul video, you saw I got some cheesecloth at Walmart. Um, well, I started dyeing it, and I was like, why not do a video while you're doing it? This one I already did. I used my little thing here. I couldn't find my little bowl. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, so I'm just throwing it over here on my on this uh, old rag that I used to wipe my hands. And um, I'm using my little silicone brush. I got these uh, from Amazon. And uh, I love it because you can do anything with it and it doesn't stain it because I used it with this and it didn't stain. Um, and then just wipe it off. But what I used was these little distress inks. That color was picked raspberry. And I thought that was the prettiest pink. Love it. Next one I'm doing is, oh, hold on. Ugh, it's hard to get these apart. Is fired brick red. It's a deep red. So, what I do is I just take the lid off and I smear a bunch down up in here. I may need some more, so I'm leaving it. Now, I take my little spray bottle and it's just water. And give it a good dousing. And I use this to kind of spread it. I don't want it dark, and the paint didn't either. Oh. Uh, and then I take my, I already cut them up into squares. I just folded them. And I'm just dipping it down in here. And letting it absorb. And whatever don't get colored, I'll just add a little bit more. But I kind of push it all the way around. Uh, try to get the white spots. I'm trying not to color my fingers. Because I've already got some on them. And, uh, yeah. So. And this is Sunday, by the way. It's the same day I put up the video for thing. But I'm making videos, hopefully, to post during the week. And this is my first one. And, as you can see, it covers the whole thing. And it's a light, pastel-y looking red. None of it squeezed out. So, I'm going to open it and make sure everything's covered. As long as it's got some color, it don't matter because I'm just using it for, you know, underneath stuff. So, we're going to put that one over there with that one. There y'all can see them. I'll turn this around so you can still see this. Then I take and uh, a wet wipe. Because I don't want them mixing and making brown. You know how that goes. And uh, that way I'll have a pretty wipe afterwards too. So next we're going to do seedless preserves. And it's a purple. So I'm going to put that all in here. A whole lot. Hopefully it will be a lavender color. By the time I finish. So yeah, I wanted to do one of each color. Um, I have a little bit that I had done with the uh, vintage photo. And, uh, see, it doesn't stain it or anything. All right, and here we go. And that's all there is to it. You can use anything. I mean, uh, you can wet down some paint. Um, that's probably, you know, I've done that before when I didn't have distress inks. Um, I have used acrylic paint, watered it down really fine, and uh, done the same thing. You can do your cloth. You can do pretty much anything like this to color it. your flowers. I've done my flowers, uh, which if y'all saw my haul, you saw I got some more of the white 
uh, what they call baby's breath, but it's not. Ugh, ain't none of it squeezing out, so we're going to try to sop up all we can with that color. I don't like the waste. And ain't that just pretty lavender? I don't know why this light's not showing good, but it's a pretty lavender. We're going to put that over. You can tell the difference between the pink and it. All right. Wipe my hands. And we're going to wipe inside the cage. <laughs> Call it the cage. <laughs> Vader won't come near it when I got all this stuff. Uh, he's down there below my chair. And he's just sitting there. Next, I don't really care for orange, but we're going to do orange for you know fall time and everything so I'm trying to get stuff ready for all year and I've got plenty of it cut out so whoa that is really rich okay and spray wow look at that yeah yeah it's kind of a to me it looks like a rusty supposed to be apricot marmalade. To me it's like a rusty orange. You know, a dirty orange. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to wipe this on here because I don't want to wipe it on my towel and waste it. And we're going to open it up and place it in. Try to get it all. I know this is boring for some of you, but some of you may not know anything about this kind of stuff. And maybe I can get you interested in doing it. <clears throat> I mean, this is good to use. Uh, most people use like doilies or uh, some fancy uh, pieces of lace or clothing, you know, lacy type clothing or whatever to put underneath. Uh, ephemera and stuff. You can use this if you don't have fancy lace and all that. Uh, this is really good and look at that orange. It turned out really pretty. I thought it was going to be like it's ugly dark. Orange would have been good, you know, like a burnt orange, but no, it's orange. Alright, I'm getting it all over me anyway because I've got gloves down here, a whole box of them, but by the time I think about it, I've already got dirty, so I figure, hey, there's no point. All right, next we are going to do yellow. This is mustard seed. And we're going to see how that looks. It's supposed to be a bright yellow. I hope so. Love yellow. So... This is my first time doing all these different colors. Like I say, I've done the uh, vintage photo, and I've done some acrylics and stuff, but usually it was flowers or lace. So this is my first time doing all these, but I want to have enough, you know, ready for when I get to crafting. I'm trying to prepare myself for different eventualities because um, I've been inspired by a lot of people and most of them already have all their stuff in place and ready to go so it don't take them long so I'm hoping to be able to do that so I can bring y'all some crafty videos and I'll try to keep them down below 20 minutes 25, 30 at the most. Because um, I know people get bored, but I'm hoping to show you some stuff that I was inspired by. And um, I'm going to start writing down names <laughs> when I get inspired about something. Uh, write the name down so that I can give them the credit. Um, now, sometimes I'll take whatever they do and I don't do what they do. Look at that yellow. Isn't that gorgeous? And so I make it my own. But I will let you know that, you know, I've seen other people. Uh, if if it's something I saw like years ago, 
I'm probably not going to remember who it was. But I'm trying to be vigilant now. And I do have a video up that was inspired by Treasure Books. Uh, so when I do get inspired by somebody, I'm trying to remember who it is and go ahead at that point, write it down so that I can let y'all know so you can go and watch them. Because uh, they probably do a better job. But I know a lot of my subscribers don't do this stuff. So I fear might as well show you. Right, here we go. This beautiful gray. Oh, and that was called Mowed Lawn. Look at that green. Wish I had a darker green. I don't think I do. Oh, well. This will work. Uh, I don't think I put enough. Let's turn it over. That's why I like this little uh, this I think it's called a silicone makeup brush. Um, I couldn't find any in the craft, so I just put silicone brush in a search engine and found these. And by the way, they had one of these at Dollar Tree. Yeah, yesterday. Sure did. Just one. So I didn't get it. I figured I'd let somebody else get it. Um, this is two different colors. It's got some dark and then some light green, which is fine. That would be perfect. Okay, there we go. We got six done already. Well, one I already had did, so we did five so far. All right. We're going to do a blue. Well, to me, yeah. Oh, uh, Salty Ocean. And I think Edie gave me all these. I do believe she did. I think I would gotten some. Then she gave me some, I think. <laughs> I can't remember. I might have got her to buy them for me. And just paid her. I think that's what happened. But anyway, doesn't matter. Let's see how this. Oh, this is like a sky blue. It's so pretty. I love it. Let's turn it over so we can get this other side. Now, it makes it look like clouds because it's white and blue. Oh, so pretty. Y'all see that? That oh, is so pretty. I may wind up having to put more in this one. I had to do that with the paint because I, I didn't know, you know, I've never done this. So, so a little bit of green got on it because I didn't do it all the way. So what we're going to do is we're going to dab it. And yes, I know it looks dark, but believe me, it will mix. Then we're just going to spray directly on it. And we're just going to mix it up and kind of toss it around a little bit. And... Uh, I'm going to try to squeeze it in here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put the white spots on it, or lighter spots. And pick it all up. Oh, yeah, now that's pretty. All right, let's kind of... I need to go around this cage because it's... Uh, I've been spraying it. And look at that. Y'all can't. It's the same color. It's lighter colored than this. But it makes it look kind of teal on here. And it's not at all. Alright, look at all that. It's, I don't know if y'all can see that. but Look at all that fell out when I squeezed it. Because I want it to dry pretty quick. So, and I'll lay them out uh, individually later. Uh, I'll do that off camera. So I'll lay them outside and let the wind dry them up really good. I'll pin them up on the side of my, uh, my little, and take this and use these little clips and pin it on here. And uh, yeah, all right, we got this clean, I think. 
I hope. I don't want. All right, now this one I consider a teal. Oh, I think a teal or something like that because it's uh, peacock feathers and it's a blue green. Oh, so we're going to do that. Okay. And that's the last of my colors. <laughs> My little ones, anyway. I don't have but a few of the big ones. All right, here we go. And it's 15 minutes already, so I didn't mean for this to go past 10. But I mean, y'all probably already done clicked off, so doesn't really matter. I'm having fun, so. And that's what my channel's about. It's just me having fun. And if people like to watch it, fine. If they don't, fine. <laughs> I'm not one of those channels that are, oh, you know, I want a lot of subscribers and uh, make money. No. I ain't worrying about ever making money on here. Never. Never, never. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't care. I've not even made a thousand yet. So, I would like to have a thousand subscribers though. Just to have it. <laughs> you don't get nothing with a thousand. But I just like to have it for my own personal. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get some of this up on this white. Yep. Okay. Is there any more? A little bit there. I don't want to waste any of this. Go around here. All right, there we go. That is beautiful. I'm going to fold it. Now, I've got, see, I've got plenty of squares left. And I even saved, uh, this one's bigger and thicker, but I'm going to keep it white. So, uh, I'm going to find some sprays that I've got. Uh, let's see. What do we not have? I really need a red or a green green. Look at this. This was egg dye that I put in here. Um, and it works awesomely. So let me show you. Look at this. It almost looks identical to that. But this looks more like grass. So it's a little bit deeper green. Oh yeah. That is I like it, like it, like it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. All right. Ooh, there's a whole lot of that. Okay. And that's going to dye my fingers. Oh, well. It's not like I'm going to town or anything soon, so. I'm just going to friend's house. Look at this. Is that not looking pretty already? Yeah. So, let's this all up. Okay. Wonder what color we'll do next. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and let's see what we're gonna do next. Um mm, I already have one of those. I already got that. Uh, I'm not sure what color that is. <laughs> okay, you know what? Hold on just a second. I've got some of those shimmer sprays. Glimmer mist. That's what it is. Glimmer mist. We're going to see what we got over here that I might want to do. This is Spring Sunset. And this will just give a little shimmer to it. And I think it's a little bit darker red than I did here. We will see. I don't understand why that's so why that light is making them so weird. Let me see if I turn it off. That's better. Oh yeah. Now you can see the real colors. <laughs> Alright. But that's what this is. And shimmer mist, 
spring sunset. This was their spring collection, and I got it on sale. The only reason I have it, well, it's kind of like a pink red, but I like it. So let's uh, see how this does. Let's get all this excess out because that stuff is expensive. Don't want to waste it, even though I didn't pay it full price. Still, I don't want to waste it. All right, what do you think? Here's this red. See, it's a lot darker. It's more of a me a real red. This is more of a light red. Okay. Wipe this out. Yeah, I'm videoing, but yeah. cheap. They're in the closet, supposed to. There's an extra set, yes. Sorry, my daughter needed to know where the extra sheets were. Okay, um, let's see what our colors we have. We have. Um, this is called Bluebell. Now, I think it's a way darker color than this blue. So, we're going to do that. And even if it ain't, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, that's purple. Oh, I like it. It's like a real, true purple. The other was like a lavender, you know, light, light purple. This is like oh, purple. <laughs> And I'm going to spray it down with some water to help it out. That's what I should have done with the red. Look at that. Wow. Okay. This is purple. This is purple. It looks blue, don't it? But it is purple. I'm telling you. Let me see if this will help now. Yeah. No, it don't matter. Oh, well. Anyway, it's a purple, <laughs> not blue. It's purple. <sighs> These colors do not. I don't know how to fix the color on here or how you could tell the colors on this camera. I don't know. So, yeah, there's no adjusting that. So, it ain't the, it ain't the, uh, it's the camera. It's not the uh, light. It does it with all my products. Even my hands, if you look, makes my hands look kind of green. Well, I mean, I got veins there, but makes my hands look way darker than they are, and they're really light. And yeah, you see my dirty hands. This is a messy job, which is why you're supposed to wear gloves. And look at this. He just made that so pretty. <laughs> it looks like tie dye on it. Okay, I'm going to move these because I'm scared they're going to get colors on them. Okay. All right, got one more to go. What do we want to do? Um, how about we just go ahead and do vintage photo. Where's that? Because I do need some more. Because I'm down to my last one. All right, we're just going to smear this. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> but that's just vintage photo. That's old. You can tell how old it is. I've got colors all over that thing, and it's about probably about had it. I'm gonna have to try to figure out get some more of the. Um, they have a spray that you just, or liquid or whatever that you put in there. Uh, so, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got darker spots, lighter spots, perfect. Because you never know what you want. Now I could have used my I should have used my coffee spray on this. See I have my coffee spray. 
And if you put coffee in a spray bottle, make sure you put, uh, I mean, it doesn't take but a couple of drops, like drop, dropper, a couple of droppers of alcohol in here. It keeps it from molding. I've had this for almost two years. And it's still good, still colors, and everything. Now, I should have sprayed that on here, and I still can. Oh, you're going to act up on me. I've had it sideways, so it ain't going to spray. Anyway, we're going to squeeze this out and dip in some of the lighter, get some of this color. Okay, oh, now look at that brown. To y'all, it looks well, in the camera, it looks peach, <laughs> but it's light and dark brown vintage photo. So, we're going to leave it like that and let it dry. And I'm going to clean this mess up. I'm not going to use this because look how pretty it is. I don't want to ruin that with vintage photo. <laughs> Because it will ruin it. I'm going to lay it up here to dry. I just set it over here uh, on um, some plastic containers I've got sitting here to let it dry. So, this, I'm going to use a paper towel that I will throw away because I've got enough colored paper towels to do stuff with that I haven't. And I really do need to do that. I've got those. I've got the baby wipes. And I need to do something with them. So maybe I'll get inspired by somebody. And uh, I got scraps that I found. Um, different sizes. And I've organized them by size. And there's just a gallon bag of one of them. And a gallon bag of another. And a half a gallon of some smaller ones and I'm probably going to make tags stuff like that but I'm going to wait until somebody inspires me to do that and then I can tell you who it was and make a video but that is it I'm going to set all of these up in here um, just so that I can take them outside with me and uh, let's see, pink with the pink Oh boy, let's put the green over here with the yellow, red with red, oh boy, let's put that on top of that purple, blue and blue, okay, um, I was going to do another video for y'all and I think I mentioned it, but it didn't work out so well, so I deleted it, um, and I'm not going to do that video. <laughs> I decided I'm not doing it. Not going to happen. Thank y'all for watching. Um, that's it. That's you know what I was going to show you for today. And I am so sorry it went so long. I know most of you probably zipped through it. Which that's fine. You know. Uh, I'm probably going to put on there a warning. Uh, very long. Uh, skip through if necessary. <laughs> um, but anyway. Thank you for watching. And I hope I inspired you to do something, even if it's just um, taking a piece of cloth and strip it down and color. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.